black hole exerts such a huge gravitational force on the local surroundings, it can suck in even light. So how are we then able, now even with an extremely powerful telescopes, to see a black hole? And what role does the accretion disk play in that observation? Although a black hole is large when compared to a human scale, the size of stars and galaxies are actually quite small. And this small size and the lack of light means that black holes are extremely difficult to see. However, like most stars, black holes do have substantial amounts of matter orbiting around them. There's a common misconception that black holes are extremely dangerous places going anywhere remotely close to them will end up with the object being unable to escape the gravitational pull and crushed in the black hole. Instead, like other similar massive objects like stars, as long as you're at a reasonable distance from them, you can orbit them like planets do, with little or no problem. Also like stars, the smaller the black hole, the closer you can safely orbit the feature. However, due to the way black holes form, there are unlikely to be any planets actually orbiting them. Instead, black hole will have the rubble and debris from possible previous planets, along with stellar dust and gases, all orbiting the black hole. This debris will tend to form a kind of a flattish disk matching up with the equator of the rotating black hole. This disk of debris is known as the accretion disk. Now, over time this debris will tend to very slowly spiral in towards the black hole. Now, as they get closer to the black hole they will start to accelerate in their orbit around the black hole getting faster and faster and faster. As this debris gets really fast, it starts to heat up. As it heats up, it glows and gives off radiation. Now since this debris is in the accretion disk is still orbiting the black hole and hasn't entered the black hole's event horizon, light and other electromagnetic radiation can escape from the accretion disk. That electromagnetic radiation can then just about be picked up by the telescopes on Earth. So the Earth telescopes are seeing what is basically the glowing asteroid belt of the black hole, and only a very small part of that dark centre of the image produced by the Earth's telescopes represents the black hole itself. 